Hi, and thank you for joining us. Uh, we This video is about our gorilla trek in Rwanda. We just came off of the trek. Thank you for joining us. I'm Evelyn Gallardo. This is my Hi. husband. I'm David Root. And this is our guest moderator, uh, Eric Butera, who has become part of our we now have a Rwandan family here. We yeah. spent so much time with him. So thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for everyone. Uh, Every yes. can you tell us the, the experience of uh, gorilla trekking? Uh, well, this wasn't our first gorilla trek. We were here in 1985 vol volunteering with Diane Fossey. And when we came back, we only had one hour with the gorillas. And we were thinking, oh, that's that's so little time. but. It was magical, don't you? That was your word, that it was magical, right? Did I say that? You yeah. said that. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> uh, just seeing the gorillas up close, and uh, the adults were just taking naps, but the young ones, they like to have uh, like a play date, you know, when the, when the uh, elders are taking naps. And so seeing the babies playing and just being in the rainforest and on top of the in, in the Virunga Mountains was amazing. Yeah, that's great, David. What can you tell to the people who have never seen the gorilla for the first time? They are the cutest baby animals I've ever met, <laughs> and they were crawling over the, the father who was sleeping, <laughs> and swinging out of the trees and and swinging like it was magic. They are so, it's the cutest baby animal in the world. Can you tell us uh, about the um, silverback? How was the silverback? How many were the, those gorillas? How many were they? Oh, well, there were two silverbacks in this wow. group, and it was called the humble group. So we finally found a, the group of gorillas. We've been walking for about an hour. We can only whisper the name of this group is humble. Yeah, I, yeah. I, what, how you say it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I think uh, we were all a little bit older. Other younger people went to groups much higher. So that's a great thing. No matter what age you are, mm -hmm. you can have access to seeing the gorillas on a trek. Um, they even have uh, you know, if someone had a broken leg, they'll put you on a stretcher and they'll take you to the gorillas. So Rwanda is making the mountain gorillas accessible to everyone. Yeah, that's what really was fun. So David, yes. what can you tell us about the gorilla trekking? What experience just really be remarkable in your heart saying that I will never forget this day because of this and this. Can you tell us please? It was. It was magic. I've never had that experience, even back in 1985. Mm -hmm. This time was so great. We've had other baby animals in, in Borneo, but this topped everything. They are so beautiful and and so playful, and the parents uh, just let them do it. <laughs> just swinging in trees right in front of us and uh, you just wanted to reach out and grab one and hug him but you oh, don't want no. <laughs> but you don't want to do that no, 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 no. then the mother would want to hug you <laughs> <laughs> a little too hard maybe she brought a protector baby but I remember when we were first here Diane would say about the babies because you know, we have rules. We we were briefed on what we could and couldn't do yeah. around the gorillas, mm -hmm. but the guide said the gorillas don't know the rules, or they don't always follow the rules. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes the gorillas will approach you, and I remember what Diane told us. Uh, Diane Fossey said that if a baby gorilla approaches you, yeah. if you have to sit on your hands mm -hmm. to keep yourself from touching them, because any any movement toward the baby gorilla may be perceived as a threat and then you'll be in trouble but they're really such 
gentle animals and uh, they're highly endangered. There are only about 890 gorillas, mountain gorillas left. Yeah, yeah. There are other subspecies, but mountain gorillas, I mean, we can't recommend it enough. Wouldn't you recommend it, honey? If you can get up that high. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go slow, slow, yeah. and you know. They are, I forgot how cold it gets at that altitude where yeah. we had, we were in the cabin for a month, but there was no heating. So, uh, yeah, it got cold. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. so what? Dress warmly yeah, and yeah. Uh, wear good hiking boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, will you recommend people to come to see the mountain gorillas? Oh, absolutely. According to your experience, and uh, by ending, what can you just tell us about um, the tricking? Yes. Well, yeah. I, I will you come for yeah. next time? Will you come for next time to see the gorilla? We'd love to come every year yeah. if we can. This yeah. is only our second time in mm -hmm. 32 years, but I recommend it highly. It yeah. is the experience of a lifetime. You will never forget it. And you're not supposed to stare in mountain gorilla's eyes, but if you look briefly, you are going to just feel this magic. You can feel that they are thinking, emotional, intelligent beings and that they allowed us to come close to them is just uh, beyond beyond explanation i we can't describe it or recommend it highly enough so please come to rwanda and see the gorillas and uh, the government and the rwandan development board and the diane fossey gorilla fund are all working together doing such an amazing job. It isn't just you buy your permit. Uh, you, when you get your gorilla permit, it not only goes to improve the situation uh, for the gorillas, they're trying to expand the habitat, yeah. and uh, but it also helps the local people uh, that surround uh, the mountain where you're going it, in Rwanda. It will. Um, uh, what's happening is that uh, they are revenue sharing with the locals that are impacted the most, the people who want to, who want to uh, grow crops, but maybe they're trying to expand the gorilla habitat, and they're giving them 10% of the revenue. So you yeah. are only helping preserve a highly, highly endangered species. You're helping the local people, and you're helping the country of Rwanda as yeah, well. That's true. Yeah, come uh, on. Something go ahead. that I just remembered. Yeah. When we lived in Los Angeles at the LA Zoo and in Seattle at the Seattle Zoo, you're looking through a glass, not not a. <laughs> there's a big difference, and and when you're that close to them, with nothing between you and them. And they let you so close to the babies, it just blows you away. Yeah, what can you tell for, to, for <laughs> the the viewers? Where they can find those your the followers, the, your followers, and the other people who will see this um, YouTube video live. So, mm -hmm. what do where can they find this video mm -hmm. or? Can you tell more about that, that video? Yes, we'll be posting more videos on our Facebook page, yeah. on our website, www.discoverybeachhouse.com, our YouTube channel. So if you're watching now, please hit the wow button or make a comment or, oh, the best would be to share. Yeah. Just share with all your friends this fabulous experience that, that you too can have. Yeah. And so we thank you so much for joining us, and thank you, Eric, and thank you, Vinny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.